I was at a music festival and Ashley sent me a message to have fun and be safe. Little did I know that message went to a whole group of people and wasn't specifically for me. <laughs> but since that day, we've not gone an entire day without talking to each other. Hi guys, this is Craig from Puzzle Man Productions and you just saw a tiny sneak peek of Ashley and Alex's wedding. We're going to show you a little behind the scenes on how we use the Godox ML60s at their wedding. Uh, we used it for the ceremony location, the speeches, the first dance, the cake cut and we got a heap of time at the end of the night to play with the lights, to paint with the lights. Uh, we did photo and film for this so I hope you enjoy this little behind the scenes. First of all, straight off the bat, I really liked that each light came with its own carry bag. A nice padded, well thought of carry bag. I love the fact that there's different powered options for them. On the night, we used the NPF style Sony batteries, but we also had the option to run the V-mount battery, which was great. Also, you can use AC power. I love the dedicated mount on the ML60. It was very nice, very easy to use. The reflector included in the lights really packs a punch and increases the light output. We had to put up a few lights for the ceremony location just to give it a little bit of pop, otherwise it was a little bit too dark in there for us. So at the moment I have a light at the front and a light at the back and then another light at the back on the other side and they really stood out and gave a bit of a shadow but it really created that nice depth in there. So we used all three lights on the night. We usually use a three point lighting system for the speeches. There's one thing I look for in a good light and that is being able to remotely control them. Being able to put a light up in a certain area or out of way and then using the remote to adjust them, whether it be brightness or just switching them on and off. And with the Godox ML60, you can do that with their remote control. I just love the versatility of remote controls. So we're just doing some ring shots and Cassie's just holding the light while I position the camera to do some beautiful ring shots with the light in the sort of off-center background. The removable handle is very, very useful. Being able to just take it off a light stand and hold it um, with everything attached, the batteries, the cables, everything's just there. It's just very portable, very nice. Again, very useful being able to take it off the stand, hand it to an assistant and use it in certain positions or certain ways to get an awesome shot. The lights are daylight balanced, but majority of the night I used a tungsten gel on them because the venue was tungsten, so we used a tungsten gel to warm them up. Again, being able to put the lights in certain positions, certain areas, and then just using the remote to control them. You can even set them in groups, which was really, really awesome. Just being able to put the hair light at a low setting and put the two key lights at a good power output. So here we are just setting up the lights for the speeches. We have a traditional three point lighting system. I've got a hair light, um, a fill light, and then a key light and then I'm shooting more towards the darker side of this subject. So he's facing down the table and I'm shooting up the table. Then we're just positioning for the cake cut and I'm just moving the lights just a little bit to get different angles for the cake cut. And we're setting up for the first dance. We're just bringing them back off the dance floor a bit and then having them, usually we have them on either side of the dance floor. I was loving the colors out of the Godox ML60. There was no color shifts. They looked daylight balanced. They were perfect. There was no green edges or anything. Uh, the only thing we did as again, I put a tungsten gel just to match the room. Just packing up the lights now and we're heading off outside to do some nighttime shots. We took the lights outside, we set them up. We figured out what we were going to do and then we brought the bride and groom out. It was a beautiful, beautiful open courtyard that we had with the old house in the background. 
and um, so what we did we just put the lights on them a little bit of backlight and a little bit of side light Cass the photographer was doing something awesome she was shooting through some nice little lights while we had our lights set up and um, she got a, a cracker of a shot so I thought I'd try and replicate it for video that shot she got much better for photo but worked well for video as well we're just adjusting lights, trying different angles here and coming through, just getting some awesome stuff with the smoke behind them and positioning the lights so that we don't have our own shadows in the shot. I honestly just loved how small they were, but considering how much power output they really pack a punch. The way they were able to pack down and rebuild and pack down, it was just great. Everything had a home in its case, it was great. Everything packed away nice and neat. It was a very well thought product with the bag and how everything packs away. So that was our experience using the Godox ML60s at a wedding. I hope you enjoyed it.